Hey guys, this is Leathercraft209. I just wanted to post a quick video. I've done a couple of videos on watch bands and um, I don't know if I explained them really well and you know the, the lighting was kind of off. So I just wanted to uh, do kind of a reshoot of some of the new stuff I'm working on and just kind of explain my watch designs. I have two major designs, actually three, but the two that I carry the most in my in my store. Um, this is a custom fitted watch band. And really, it's designed to to fit onto a very specific watch, you know. And because the way this design is, the the tabs are riveted in place, depending on where the watch, uh, the size of the watch face. And so, even though you could switch this watch out, as long as it's a similar size uh, from pin to pin, it should be fine. But you know, really, it's designed for like if you already have a watch, or if you want to custom order a watch. Um, it's really made to fit that that watch specifically. Uh, it can be switched out, but you know. And h here's the basic design right here. Yeah, it's got a one-inch buckle, one-inch strap. And um, I'm also wearing the one. The one I wear is also that. It's designed for <clears throat> specifically for this Timex watch. And this is a black one, this is uh, like a dark brown, I think it's called Java Brown. But yeah, so these are the custom custom versions. And then I also am carrying, this is a slip through design. And I'm going to be making them using, um, if you already have a watch that's fine, you know, I can just make you the band. But in my store I'm carrying them using this Timex watch. and. The really cool thing about this Timex watch is it reminds me a lot of uh, the Swiss Army style. Um, I think they call it the Calvary. But where the pins kind of <clears throat> have this really long, they kind of go out a lot and have this kind of elongated, you know, casing. Uh, it's really nice for the slip through watch because um, on the slip through design, let me show you really quick. You know, to get the watch on, you would uh, basically unweave this, you know, all the way to over here, and then you would slip the watch on. And, you know, it fits most watches, but some watches, you know, this leather is just a little too thick to slide between the case and the pin. So, you know, I would just keep that in mind, depending on your watch, have a look. But um, it works really nice, and this, this is, this Timex comes with the nylon strap. These are all brand new. And so when I make the custom band for someone, I usually include the the nylon band if I can. Uh, I don't always remember to you know, keep track of these. Uh, sometimes I get thrown away. So, um, but yeah, so this is a, the new watch face I'm using for my slip through design. And if you're interested in ordering something, uh, either custom uh, custom made, like one of these, or if you have a lot of watches and you just feel like switching out watches often without having to mess with the pin each time, you just want to be able to slip it through, uh, I would recommend this 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 one, uh, my slip through design. And like I said, uh, the ones I carry in stock in my store that already have a watch face will probably be made with a Timex, I really like Timex watches, uh, they last a long time, they have the light feature which uh, to me is um, important. So uh, I'll be using this slip through design with specifically paired with a watch like this. Now this one is, I don't know if you can see it, it it's um, got like a white face and let me see if I can get it to focus. There you go. It has a, wa a white face and <clears throat> like a neon green second hand. And I've stopped, you know, the crown is pulled so that it doesn't waste battery, uh, so that it's not ticking right now. But um, Timex makes these with the second hand in like red, blue, all sorts of different colors, and the band kind of matches and corresponds to the second hand. So, uh, you know, I can always order if you're looking for something specific. I think the most common one I use is black with a red second hand. But yeah, guys, if you guys are interested in the the watch bands, uh, go check out my email, uh, my website, 
at www.leathercraft209.com and it should give you um, a good idea. I think I have a, a tab specifically dedicated to watch bands to show kind of what I make. I do have another style that I make which is basically a snap. So here's a bracelet. Um, it's basically a snap closure and up here it would be the watch and it'll be two tabs right right here and then the watch face would kind of fit in. <clears throat> you know you'd have to pull the pins and put that in and you know this is nice if you really want a simple you don't want buckles or whatever. Um, the deal with that is it has to be custom fitted to your wrist and so I would need a wrist measurement for, that is very exact um, because there's really no uh, major adjustments a lot you know there's two snaps and some people just want one snap so if you want something more minimalistic um, than something this big I can always make uh, a cuff like this and this is one and a half inches but I could also make it you know uh, one inch I've done a couple uh, ladies watches recently where they didn't want such a wide one and a half inch you know cuff and so I'm, I you know used a one inch uh, bracelet with some tooling on it and attached the watch that way using and using the snap closure so that's just another option uh, I don't do that as often because there's not a whole lot of adjustment and so when I carry it in the store it's only designed to fit you know very specific wrist sizes whereas you know these um, have a little bit more play in the buckle you know you can adjust it a little bit more Anyway guys, take care. If you have any questions, let me know.